Yeah, guys, after doing Go Puff like twice already, I don't think it's worth it. First, they make you actually, you can't go online until you go to the warehouse. And I don't know if they take you offline if you leave the warehouse, but it's like they make you stay there, there in the warehouse to get an order. And I get their theory. They don't want people driving around everywhere. They want them there so then it could be really on demand. And it's like another ship platform where you don't see the tips until after. So you could get, like I did a, a $4 order going six miles. Ah, just to see what happens. A single order. No tip, guys. The only time it's maybe worth it is if you get a double or triple stack where maybe you get one or two customers not tipping, but maybe the third one tips or two customer tips. You have more of a chance of getting a tip to where it's worth the drive going over there. Because if not, I mean, if you just do a single and you, get, you don't get a tip and it's seven, eight miles, it's not worth it. You can also accept only orders that's going to a certain neighborhood if you want to do it like that. I mean, I don't know. But that's my conclusion about GoPuff, man. It's, I mean, it's not worth it unless... I